Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Swan TV, and we're here for another Meet the Swan. This one in person, which is lovely. Uh, the wonderful Liam Brown, who is one of our account managers here in the Go Swan. Liam, how you doing? Not very bad. Not, not, not very bad. bad. Oh. Not that's very a, bad. That's a new one. Accidental yeah. partridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's this is why they're not done in person. This is no, this is good. Yeah, this yeah, is why they're very good, person. thank you. That's you're the very good. Yeah. Good man, good man. Do you want to start off, <laughs> if you can, by explaining what you do in the Go Swan? Uh, yes, so I am the account manager, so sort of the first point of call for all of our clients here. Um, the majority of the sort of SME ones, uh, the larger ones are heard by uh, Louise and Hannah. Uh, and what's your favourite bit about being a swan? About being a swan? Yeah, I prefer that. He has a good one. <laughs> no, no uh, I would say it's just the, um, our attitude towards uh, clients, I think, is kind of a unique twist where um, from having the fortunate experience of going to the Telcos last year and hearing all these sort of horror stories that you know energy brokers have and um, sort of reputation we have in the in the industry but knowing that you're one of the good guys uh, it kind of sort of you know makes you feel proud every day you, you come into work really love that man. love that and what did you do before you got here what was your career how varied was it uh incredibly varied if i'm honest yeah, yeah so uh, when i first started out i uh, was a classic checkout boy after leaving college <laughs> yeah had all the older women come to my tills um, and then uh, I moved on to sports coaching, so football coaching with uh, Community Sports Foundation, which was really good. Um, playing lots of football and, and coaching children and seeing them grow and develop was fantastic. And then randomly went to plumbing, which was a, a bit of a twist. Uh, and then from there went to the shredding world, so the waste world, and then, yeah, um, worked for my brother for a brief bit in franchising, somehow some all here. And then you made your way here. Yeah. I love it, so very, so very. Do you want to give a shout out to your football team, all right? Uh, I can talk about Northern Athletic, yeah, yeah we're uh, about doing well, we've got a massive double header come this weekend, yeah. depending when this is uh, coming out, but no, it's been a great year, we've got some great boys, um, and yeah, I'm sure every team says they're, they're the best team around, but I think we could be one of them. Um, and what's your, what, what, obviously you play a lot of football, which you enjoy, what, apart from that, what else do you like to do when you're not here? Uh, I'm really into the games, James. Uh, into I've, the games? Into the games, yeah, I play a lot of games. Um, I've got about 19 consoles in my collection right now, um, ranging from things pre my birth and uh, right until sort of modern day consoles. And yeah, I just, for me, um, lots of people watch films to escape. Uh, I, I think I have to play games to sort of yeah. escape reality and you know, lose myself, which is really nice. What's the most vintage console you got? Most vintage? Uh, oldest? I've got a Commodore, which is pretty old. Uh, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Mega Drive, Dreamcast. 64, snares, and yeah, you, oh. yeah, we're talking all, you know all, all the He's games. Yeah. What's your favourite? Favourite? Um, I think, realistically, in my, oh, God, 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 I don't know if I have a name of favourite. Uh, like naming your yeah, favourite child? Yeah, the first one, always. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, I think for underratedness, uh, the GameCube. The GameCube? Yeah, really underrated. America oh. Double Dash on that game was unbelievable. So. I love it, the GameCube is thrown out. <laughs> For now, brilliant. And last question, who or what inspires you? Inspires me. Uh, I like to think that, um, sounds very cliche, uh, you've got one opportunity to uh, make your mark on this world. Some people make it in one way, some people make it other, and I just like to make sure that I've positively influenced as many people I can in my life. That's, that's my kind of go-to. I love it. Liam. Thank you. Cheers, James. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I mean, that's going to be my favourite. It's <laughs> whatever. Carries life by the camera. This is going to get views all over the place. But thank you for joining us uh, and join me again next time when we do another Meet the Swan. Thanks.